Hey guys, Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. Today we're going to look a little bit into limits and asymptotes, uh, vertical asymptotes specifically. And later we'll do some more videos on, on other just different types of limits and horizontal asymptotes and that kind of stuff. But this is just to give you an idea. I know a lot of people are confused about limits and when they exist and when they don't. And maybe how to find a vertical asymptote and what it is. So we're just going to talk a little bit about that and hopefully this helps you out. So let's look at the first question, okay? So the first part of the question asks us to find the limit as x approaches three from the right side. Say this is positive, okay? Of two x over x minus three, and the limit as x approaches three from the left, okay, uh, of two x over x minus three, okay? So this question isn't asking us to determine whether or not the limit exists, okay? So a limit exists is if you plug in three, and you're going to get a number out of it, okay? So in this case, if we plug in three into these equations, we see that uh, we get an undefined value, we get infinity, okay? We're gonna be dividing by zero. But that's not what the question's asking, okay? The question asks us to find the limit, all right? Even if it is infinity. So that's what we're going to do. So let's take a look at this first one here, okay? So we have limit as x approaches three, okay, from the right of two x over x minus three, okay? So if we plug in three here, okay? And if we're coming from the right side, okay? So what, what, what it means by right is that three is a little bit larger than three, okay? And it's getting closer and closer and closer to three, but on the positive side, okay? So what, what that would mean for this denominator here, okay? Is it's getting closer and closer and closer to zero. Okay, and what that means for this function is that it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, because this denominator is getting small, 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 and it's becoming a very, very, very tiny, small positive number. Okay, so what that means, and we can just solve this intuitively, we don't need to do this by, with any math or anything like that, is that we can see now, okay, so that the limit as x approaches three from the right, okay, is we're going to have it's going to approach positive infinity, okay? Okay, so this, once again, this denominator is, this, this x is gonna be a little, like, a little, little, little bit bigger than three, okay? And it's gonna keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller a a until this becomes zero, okay? So essentially, it's just gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, so that means that this is going to be a positive divided by a positive, and we're gonna get positive infinity, okay? Let's take a look at this one here. So we have the limit as x approaches three from the left now, okay? So what does that mean? Well, what that means is that we are just below three here, okay? So we're at two, then we're at 2.5, then we're at 2.75, then we're at 2.9, then we're at 2.999, then we're at 2.999999. Okay, so what is going to happen here is, once again, our denominator is going to get very, very close to zero, okay? But it's all, x is always gonna be less than three, which means that this bottom here, the denominator, is gonna be negative, okay? And we have a positive at the top here, okay? So a positive divided by a negative is going to be a negative, okay? And it is going to approach infinity, right? Because this is going to get very, very close to zero, all right? So, that means that we can write it like this, okay? So that's what we've done. We've, uh, we've gone ahead and we've drawn, or we, we've found the limits of these two, okay? And well, where is the vertical asymptote? Well, the vertical asymptote exists in this case where the function is undefined, okay? So if we go ahead over here and we just, you know, do a really rough graph of what this function would look like, it would look something like this, okay? And what, it, as we can see, if we plug in three here, okay, then if x equals three, then the function is undefined, okay? And that's where the asymptote is going to exist, okay? So we have an, a vertical asymptote. At x equals three, okay? And I'll just go ahead and draw this for you right here. It's gonna just look something like that, okay? So those are going to get very, very close to this, which is x equals three. Okay, this is x and this is y. Okay, but it'll never actually get there, all right? So that's that, That's I hope that gave you an idea. Let's go over to this one. This one's a little bit trickier, okay? So this one we have here 
is uh, find the vertical asymptotes of tan x equals sine x over cos x, okay? So we are going to immediately look for where this function could possibly be undefined. And where we're going to find that is in the denominator here, which is cosine x, okay? So as we know, a rational function is undefined when the denominator is equal to zero, right? That means that it's, you know, we're dividing by zero. We can't do that. It's equal to infinity. So what we need to do is we need to bring cos x over here, okay? And we need to say, okay, where is cos x equal to zero? And if I always like to just draw a little bit of a, a graph here and we can take a look at cos x, okay? What cos x looks like, all right? And here we have our, we have zero, we have pi over two, this is pi, right? All right, and well, as we can see, cos becomes zero at pi over two, right? So that is a potential vertical asymptote, okay? When x equals pi over two. So, well, how do we check that? And well, we can write it like this. We can say, since cos x, when it approaches zero from the right, okay, we are going to have x is negative pi over two, okay? And when cos x approaches zero from the left, okay, we have x is equal to pi over two, right? Because as it comes from the left, okay, we, we're, we're positive here and we're coming from the right, it's negative, right? And that's what we wrote here. So if we can go ahead and take these values, okay, and plug them into tan and see what we get, we can verify that we have a vertical asymptote, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So if we look at what, you know, what tan x looks like, tan x is gonna look something like this, okay? Right? And it repeats, 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 okay? And we are going to have, uh, if you're familiar with tan x, okay? We're gonna have asymptotes here and here, okay? So, if we take a look at when we are approaching pi over two, and this is pi over two, and this is negative pi over two, okay? So, when we're approaching pi over two from the left, okay? So when we're coming from here, this is the left side, and we're getting closer and closer to pi over two, but we're never actually reaching it, okay? we are going to have the limit uh, approaching infinity, right? Because it, it's gonna get, and that's gonna be positive infinity, okay? Because we're going upwards and we're going upwards and we're close, getting closer and closer to pi over two, but we're never actually reaching it, okay? And if we look down over here, when we're approaching uh, pi over two from, from the left, okay? Uh, we are going to have a negative infinity, right? Coming down this way and we are going downwards and we're never actually going to reach pi over two, okay? And really that's what I'm going to write here, okay? So we have the limit as x approaches pi over two, okay, from the, from the left, all right? Which is this one here, and that's going to equal positive infinity. And when we have the limit as x approaches pi over two from the right, okay, that will equal negative infinity, okay? And as, as we can see, uh, just from drawing it and from looking at it and plugging in the zero values from cos, we can see that we have an asymptote, okay, at, at pi over two. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I know that's a little bit of a, a complicated explanation, but I, I, I hope that, that that helps some of you out there. And, you know, just keep watching our videos. We'll have lots more on calculus one and limits and asymptotes and derivatives. Keep watching, stay tuned.